How does Google create accurate, tailored carbon footprint reports for Google Cloud and Google Workspace customers? We follow the Greenhouse Gas Protocol, the global standard for carbon accounting. The GHG protocol categorizes emissions into three scopes. For Google, they are scope one, direct emissions from backup generators, natural gas heating, and fleet vehicles. Scope two, emissions resulting from the power plants that provide electricity to our data centers. Scope three, indirect emissions from employee travel, building our data centers, and filling them with servers. These emissions are the direct emissions of our suppliers. In scope two, there are two methods for calculating emissions. Our carbon footprint products start with location-based. Location-based emissions represent the emissions released by the sources powering the electric grid where consumption occurs and reflect the actual emissions that are released to the atmosphere as a result of our data center's electricity consumption. Market-based emissions, on the other hand, represent the combination of the emissions associated with the grid electricity consumed by a company, as well as any renewable energy certificates a company purchases. In other words, market-based reflects the emissions that a company is responsible for after its clean energy purchasing activities. Google breaks down our emissions to give more insights to our users. As we apportion Google's emissions to each customer, you should report all of these as your scope three emissions.